Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Next with Next Tier. We are up to episode 10, double digits. Yeah. Go team. <laughs> I'm here with Ness Jr. and David Scrub Phoenix. I am Carly Purple Mama, you all know me. Um, this week, what do we have to talk about? We've got some sponsor updates. David's been pushing the sponsors and getting getting lots of good sponsorship, haven't you, Dave? Yeah, yeah, we got some exciting ones on board. We have Fresh Point Cafe, uh, Fresh Point Cafe out here in uh, Bellamac in Palmerston. And they also, do the best pancakes. Oh, I gotta so go good. there soon. I gotta go there soon. I've, uh, I just gotta watch what I eat because yeah, I'm like fasting one moment <laughs> of the day and then eating junk the next. Um, uh oh. But yeah, look, they got the like some of the best desserts and pancakes there. So if you're out in Palmerston, place to go. Uh, we'll get some more information up on them. But um, sorry, <laughs> I can't help but waffle on. Uh, That's okay. Uh, oh, God. Was that a pun? <laughs> oh, that was a pun. I missed it. Oh, God. Come on, that was a really good pun. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Um, my video's gone all blurry. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, Wicked Energy on board as well. And we are, I am um, sort of getting right into these G Fuel. You can't really see it there because my camera blurs for some reason. Ah, there you go. These G Fuel, uh, they call them RTD or ready to drink cans. Um, so they're a bit like a. Um, an energy drink sort of but they're um they've got zero sugar in them um yeah great um every me we'll give you some more details on it but every member that joins up to intel and all the existing members that have joined get a free one which is insane nice. so um I so we can energy one. fresh point sorry you could talk now <laughs> that's okay no i'm looking forward to trying a g fuel i see it everywhere quite a few streamers are um sponsored by g fuel so um it's quite heavily advertised in the streaming world. So, yeah. and I hear there's a purple one, a grape flavor. I'm yes. keen for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've reminded Carly a few times now there's a purple one. So, <laughs> what are the benefits with Fresh Point? Oh, yes. Yeah, so it was at 15% minimum $20 order, no delivery. It's not including delivery. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. That's really good. 15% off minimum $20 order excludes delivery. So I think uh, just in general sense, the um, delivery will be excluded from the offer only be, uh, with, uh, with other places as well. Just double check with them because, I mean, they are trying to um, obviously get business through the delivery. So it might you know, t take too much from them. Just ask them, um, any sponsors that you're calling, whether it be Origin Kebabs, um, John John's, um, Tip Top. Uh, just, just ask them um, if they could. You, yeah, I've actually included the uh, takeaway, so you can give them a call on the uh, website. So just give them a call, put your order in, and see if they can accept the offer. Nice. Get them pancakes. Um, so that's our sponsor update. How are we going for Intel, the next year oh. esports league? That is almost almost Carly. closing. Carly, Wait. Carly, I didn't finish on the sponsors. Um, Paul, oh, there's more. I've, I've, I've spoken to Pauls and Oak, and. Uh, the, in terms of what they're giving us, I can confirm that we're going to be giving away um, free Paul's Ice Coffee and Oak throughout the streams that we're going to be doing, and they're going to be more for um, spectators, all right? So we're going to um, nice. encourage people to watch weekly, watch into our streams, and if you do, you get a chance to win some free um, Paul's Ice Coffee, as Carly's showing, or um, some Oak, so we'll get that sorted. So um, obviously with milk, we have to watch, obviously, the, uh, the life, you know, we can't just hold on to... All this, no. all this milk. <laughs> give you guys no, off milk. We got to, so. we got to give it away quick. Yeah. So, um, more, more details on that soon. But I just want to, yeah, shout outs to our major sponsors. Yeah. Um, nice. Obviously, Pauls and, and Oak. So. There are some questions um, about how to redeem these offers. Can you let everyone know how it actually works? Yeah. So, guys, what you need to do is um, we, we, our offers are exclusive for our Intel Challenger members. All right, so that means uh, when you sign up to be a challenger, um, it costs 20 bucks and you sign up to be a challenger and that will give you access to your uh, login on your website uh, on your phone. And then you go into that and you'll have your challenger pass. You go, you log in, you go to challenger pass and then you redeem that by showing the um, the place where you're at um, your code because your, that proves you're a member and that will then entitle you to the uh, the discounts. If you do get stuck, just let us know. Um, reach out to us, go look, I'm, Matt such and such and we can't do the discount just reach out to us we'll help you out um, the whole idea is um, that we want our um, we want to support local business uh, especially in these times but also because they're supporting us so if we um, if our, our members support these um, sponsors uh, whether it be big or small sponsor um, it could lead to bigger and better things it could lead to you know team sponsorship it could lead to um, you know having an NT 
um, team represented by a big sponsor one day. You never know. So we want to, um, yeah, that's that's the reason for it, guys. So if you are a, a, a challenger member, highly encourage you. That's you know we got the sponsors on board, so you guys can utilize them. So go out and get, yeah, get a kebab. Go out, go to Fresh Point, grab yourself some pancakes, and um, support the local businesses. And go get your free can of uh, G Fuel. Yes, G energy. Fuel. Get some supplements. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get some subs. Yeah, so. I'll probably I'll probably get it right before the tournament kicks off. Um, because everyone talks about all of these supplements and all, all they always talk about uh, performance enhancing and um, mental focus type uh, yep. drinks. So I want to see how I go for for the first couple of rounds without it. And then um, for, for a round that I guess after we've established some of the better players, we, you start getting the seeds in, see how I go against the better players um, using the actual product so you know because there's a lot of talk about gimmicks and yeah it's just mm. another caffeinated drink but um so we'll have to give yep. it a go and ask maybe ask a lot of the players that yep. that try it out to see if it actually makes a difference yeah you've yeah, also got it'd the, be really interesting you've also got the um uh, oh, i should have that the tub in front of me but i'll get the tub but you got all these different flavors of tub for the it's it is different to the to the energy drink um so it's not it hasn't got as much caffeine in the actual excuse me in the um G Fuel uh, tubs that you can get with the powder, mm. so uh, it might be worth trying that as well. But there are some other brands as well. I mean, we're not exclusive to G Fuel. There, are, I mean, G Fuel are great, but we got um, there's other, and you can talk to the guys at Wicked Energy. They they have a bit of knowledge. They would be able to help you out in in choosing the right supplement for you. Great. So speaking of competitors, so our Challenger Pass members are able to register for any of our tournaments. Um, how are we going with registrations? Are we are we progressing? What games need need a bit of a push here? Well, um, from 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 my side, Ness and I have been both working on this. But from what we could see, the the fighting game division is geared ready to go. I mean, we got um, enough registrations to launch the season. So big. I mean, we said it last time. We have big congrats to everyone that um, mm. that uh, that has joined up, ready to go. It shows that 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 scene is um, they 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 love it. They want they want more. And uh, we just got to. I guess, I guess we do have a scene with the League of Legends and Rocket League. We just got to get the get the guys to register because there's a lot mm. of talk. But there's uh, there's guys just um, sitting back and going, "Oh, we want to wait to register." No, don't wait. Register, please, yeah. guys. <laughs> it's it's getting to that point where we need to um, we need to know the numbers. So definitely, I mean, League of Legends. I believe we got three teams saying this. Look, um, all all the divisions, whether it's fighting games, whether it's League of Legends or Rocket League. Uh, there are teams that are tentative. So for Rocket League, we've got one team that's fully registered. So shout out to Revitalize. So it's also based on a skincare product. They're going to be repping their product on stream. So Revitalize, they're registered for Rocket League. League of Legends, we've got four teams nominally registered, right? So we're on the verge of securing the League of Legends season, but all the teams need to be finalized. And and I've been talking to Liam Vladexa, who's the division manager for League of Legends, and he says he has one or two teams that are on the fence. So at this point in time, even though the full teams aren't registered, we have captains registered for four yep. teams. We have two waiting the wings, and there could potentially be upwards of seven to eight. But it's all about getting the registrations before the yep. cutoff, because Yep. Like David said, if if he doesn't get minimum registrations, can't, we can't do it. We just can't, can't do it. We're going to go ahead, and we can't. So, yeah. We've done it before in the past. We've put time and effort into something with little, or you know, we need to have some something to do there. Uh, and for our sponsors as well, I mean, they want to see a great season. We don't want them two teams playing. And it's like, yeah. So we need um, we need the numbers, guys. And also on that note, uh, I know there's been a few issues with a few. Because team games, are, especially League of Legends, getting five people to register is a bit more tricky than just registering yourself for a fighting game. So if I can help just explain how that works. So if you're the captain, um, yes, you can sign up your whole, you can pay for your whole team to become a challenger member. You just have to put their names in the um, in the uh, PayPal like notes saying this is payment for da, 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 these five people, for example. And you have to, it's your job as the captain to tell those people that uh, you've paid for to um, sign up to the website. So they need to skip step one and go to step two. What that does is that will send um, us an email and go, someone has requested site access. Then we get them site access. Once they have site access, they can then register and do their form 
uh, register for the team games. Look, the, the online registration process isn't uh, super streamlined, all right? So the captains have already registered. If you're getting confused about how you get onto a tournament or the entire membership process to get sponsorship benefits just drop us a line we'll help you through it yep. um it you know there are some bits and pieces that you have to follow so we'll yep. help you along the way just make yep. sure you drop a line but yeah um in any event reach out to david reach yep. out to any of us and we'll help you along look my number's clearly on the website guys so <laughs> my phone number's on the website give me a call uh, but you can message us through the website as well there's a messaging thing you can go contact us also through facebook it's very easy to find i mean it's great it's a great opportunity to get involved in esports guys you do not want to miss this um but i should note as well that the reason we've done um and i need to emphasize on this the reason we've done individual registrations for players is that we need the players to understand the terms and conditions of the tournament so uh, we can't just have people just entering the tournament without reading through um, some guidelines um, what they expect and what and uh, you know how they behave and everything like that we need people to understand that and that's um, that's direct from uh, the publishers that we're working with as well so the games that we're playing we're, we actually have to um, make sure our players um, you know read those terms so that's why we're doing it, guys. Not to make it hard. We just we just need to follow the rules the best we can. All right. Just a final thing before we move on. Let Carly push this to the next topic. Um, fighting game kicks off next weekend, I think, May eighth of May. So we're really getting into it now. Make sure you get your registrations in, even for the fighting games. Even though every there's a very strong pre-registration that's already happened. Make sure you get signed up. Tournaments kick off. Pre-registrations for uh, team games are at the moment 15 May. So make sure you get everything before 15 May or else nothing goes ahead. Yeah, we are extending the team registrations a little bit longer, but there will be a, a cutoff time, guys. So we do need to ask that you get those registrations in, if that's cool. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Nice. Okay. Um, I think we've got some special guests joining us again this week. Um, we might just dial them in and we'll be back with our special guests no worries all right all right welcome to what's next billy thank you for joining us you're playing league of legends this year you're a captain of a team are you ready for the season oh yeah back once again uh i, I hope we're ready i'm pretty excited to kick it off and get going that's for sure have you been doing lots of training yeah so I, i've been with this team for maybe or oh, maybe going on two months now and we've had a bit of a rush to swap up with some um, we've got some of the guys out some of the some of the boys from the old team in which has been uh, pretty good we've been finding a bit more success there and yeah we've just been trying to practice like a couple times a week but just looking for something to really sink our teeth into you know what i'm saying yeah that's really good um do you know many of the other teams that are competing this year or uh, so I had a little look that was posted up on the member site of the um, next year, uh, and the, it looks like there, there's a few names that I recognise, um, uh, but definitely missing a few people. I know Cadius is a bit was playing a, a few seasons ago, and obviously missing out on uh, the legendary Blade Exer, who mm. is uh, managing the tournament for us now. Yeah. Um, so, do you have any thoughts on the skill cap they're putting in? Does that yeah, affect your team at all? Or? No, it hasn't affected our team. So, I, I joined this team as a goal team. So, the, the organisation I'm with is Five Hydra Esports Club. Uh, and they have teams through all divisions. And we're actually their second uh, goal team. So, nice. they, when they were doing all their tryouts for their first goal team, they just got so many like applications to join the team and had enough good players that they just decided to do a second round of tryouts for a second team, and that's what we are now. Um, so thankfully it hasn't affected us too much. Uh, our players, I think our highest player was just Platt 4 last year. But I still definitely think we're in the running to probably take it, I think. I don't think... I think the skill cap definitely benefits us more. What about in terms... Yeah, sorry. yeah, Billy. What about in terms of the competition in general, like in, imposing a skill cap? Do you think it will reduce the entertainment value? Do you think it will reduce the kind of matchup um, uh, mechanics that you might find in a un unrestricted tournament? No, definitely not. Um, 
I don't know. I, it, I think there's a lot of entertainment value in uh, lower ELO games. I, obviously, like, it, it's always great and fun to watch the pros because they pull off the craziest things. But when you get to that lower ELO, it's like almost just as fun because you're not really, you know, there, there are more mistakes that you can see and criticize and go from there. So it's almost fun in like the opposite direction, if you know what I'm saying. I agree. But I, I agree. I think the, um, just having one diamond player is, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to affect it too much. I think it should, it, yeah, it's definitely going to make the competition fair. And I, I don't think it should take away from the potato value. Mm, yeah, I agree. David, you play League of Legends. Do you have any questions for Billy? Yeah, look, um, Oh, it's exciting. I have known Billy now for years and he's been involved and it's great to have him back and it's good to see these players um, that have been involved and just seeing this. Uh, well, yeah, I'm very excited for League of Legends. It's just an exciting game in general. Um, I mean, they're all exciting, but League of Legends, it's, it has this, as Billy said, you know, you got the pros that do their thing, but it's, it'd be really good to see some people that get involved and, you know, just see them pull off this amazing play and just... It's, it's crazy, and, it, and that's really good for a low elo player because they're not really used to that limelight, so it, it encourages more um, competition and, and more people to tune in and watch that because they love seeing that sort of stuff. It's going to be fun. Yeah, that's it, for sure. It's just better when you get to play as like a team of five. I don't know, personally, from my experience, when I first started playing League of Legends, basically pretty close to the first time I just played in the first... Uh, Back in it was NT Esports tournament back in the day, um, and you know that's probably why I'm honestly so addicted to the game. Uh, it's just so much more fun playing in a team of five, and I just can't wait to see the season started. I think most games are the same. They're much better when you're playing in a team. I guess you can communicate and you can actually work together. Um, yeah, whereas when sure. you go in on your own and you're just dumped in with a bunch of randoms, I think it makes it much harder in any game. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, so thanks for joining us, Billy. Does anyone else have anything else to comment on while we've still got Billy here? Uh, Billy, you said, no, mate, you, you said you might be... I did throw the whole Rocket League thing at you, but if you, you were considering jumping on the fence there, but it, it, it's up to you. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely look into it. I definitely haven't played in a few years, but, you know, if we need to fill up the numbers, I might jump on today and, and check the rust and... It's all good, bro. <laughs> hey, it's all good. I was just throwing it out there because, you know, we're um, getting teams um, organised for Rocket League. Um, and, yeah, I, I just know you used to play it. I think you used to shoutcast and do that kind of stuff for it. So, yeah, let us know if you are keen. I Neil, by the way. Yeah, sorry. Our extra special guest. I need a sign on the door that Cameo. says recording or something. <laughs> do not enter. Currently okay. recording. Sorry about that, guys. The joys of... Uh, recording from home and not actually having a proper setup yeah, but um we'll get better we'll get better we're only just 10 keep, weeks in <laughs> just keep pushing um league of legends billy everything you're doing in the background mate is um you know almost over the line so thanks for all love of that it, love it no nah, of course i, I want to get this thing going just as much as you guys do you know it's, it's awesome, it's man. Perfect the times like this, and we're locked at home, so <laughs> yeah. can't wait to get started. Sounds good, man. And I think Billy is also going to be joining me on the shoutcasting. Oh, well, it's joining um, Cadius a few times. I think we've worked out something there, so you might hear Billy's voice nice. over the air with uh, with Jackson, um, with uh, Cadius. So yeah, we'll see yeah. what we can do there. Provide a bit of color commentary. I don't know how much my analysis will be, but yeah, yeah. looking forward to that too. Awesome. That'll be fun. Good luck for the season. I hope your team does really well. I will be watching and. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your time this morning. No worries. Thank you, guys. Thanks for getting this organized for us again. Can't no worry. worries. Peace out, bro. Cheers, Thanks, man. Bye. Peace. All right, we've got our second special guest dialed in today. We've got Stu with us. Stu, you play Smash Brothers. Are you okay. ready for the season? Yeah, oh, honestly, more than I've ever been, probably. Nice. <laughs> I don't think I can get any more ready. <laughs> nice. You are geared up and good to go. Um, you're also doing some shout casting as well, is that right? Yes, I, to an extent, especially because I play a lot of fighting games, more with Tekken than anything, I actually enjoy shout casting more than I do competing. It's awesome. Which is a bit of a good stance to take, but hey. He's a um, very, very skilled shout caster, if I say so myself. He's, um, he, he's quite knowledgeable in terms of what is happening on screen. Um, but at the same time, he can also dip back and forth between 
um, color casting and being a play-by-play. -play. So that's a, it's really hard to do that um, as a single shoutcaster, but he just seamlessly goes back and forth. And because he plays a lot of different games, not just fighting games, he plays heaps of different games, MOBA and everything. So uh, he's just got a knack for it. Yeah, and I must say, being a spectator and not knowing a lot about the game myself, watching and having a shoutcaster just like get as hyped as you do, like it just makes me really excited, even though I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so it, yeah, you must it, be doing something right. It is a very, um, very underrated role. Like it's, it's kind of the shout. Like with, if you watch a game without a shoutcaster, like I've seen so many Smash sets where there's, it's just the game and there's no shoutcaster, and I kind of sit there and go, I'm bored. I love Smash. And this is boring to watch, but because it, it's a shoutcaster's job to like control the crowd, like their height levels, mm -hmm. and then let the crowd know what's going on. And it's, right. it's kind of a lot of it actually revolves like the players can play as hype as they want without a shoutcaster. There's always that little bit of boring to it, just because there's mm. no like flavor. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this season's going to be as much for our spectators as much as it is for the players, in my opinion. I think it's going to be really mm. great. Um, people to tune in and see that hype that excitement of esports and uh yeah thanks for bringing that man do you think it's going to be harder shout casting to an audience that's not there so you don't get the feedback from the audience because they're online is that different honestly um 10 years ago maybe but i think mm. now it's it's um with you know twitch and facebook all streams being pretty interactive with you know text text chats that you can have open like everything like that it's going to be I'm not a big streamer, so it's going to be funny not having like if someone if something hype's happening, not having the sound behind me because yeah. I kind of use that as an audio cue as well to know mm -hmm. I'm doing a good job. But you can still like you know if something amazing's happening, you're still going to have people you know be like, oh my god in text and stuff, and you'll know that they're being you know you know that there's hype and you know that you're getting through to someone even if they're not there in person. Yeah, when you get the emote spam in the chat, that's when you know yeah. you're doing something right. Yeah, so if you're watching, yeah. if you're watching emote spam when it's hype, so we know do it. Do a favor. Yeah. <laughs> she, she also, um, not only is he playing, not only is he shout casting, but he's also the division manager or the, the game manager for Super Smash. He's, he's managing brackets too. So he's got a, a lot of hats on this season. Mm. A lot. Step it up a little bit, Phil. Yeah, I, I like I like what NTE does for community, the community, and obviously that one's small, so I would like to do what I can to try and make it bigger. And from what I know, catch warriors and stuff at least know of our existence at this point. So they do, yes. That is, they that definitely is, that do. Is a, Shout out to couch steps, warriors, by the way, if you're tuning in. Shout out to you boys down there. <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah, look, we, we definitely wanted to um, work with them and and try to enable our players playing in the in intel in in our in our league to get some recognition and and possibly um have some flow through towards a cw or the couch warriors league as well so but in any event everyone's online at the moment and a lot of our players are also playing couch warriors league um because they're the biggest fighting game organization in australia the non-for-profit so they do a lot of great work as well we piggyback off that and it's all everyone helps each other really um yeah I actually have a, well, I wasn't going to reveal it, but I did have a little bit of surprise I was going to share with everyone. I might as well spread it. I've been thinking of an idea, and I've <laughs> oh, actually spoken, spoken to some higher-ups about this. Now, oh, after, look out. After, after, now, there is a chance I'm going to be reaching out to some higher um, esports orgs around higher Australia. Higher powers. Well, some, some larger esports orgs, including Couch Warriors. Um, you've got the guys over in the East Coast, uh, XP Esports, some guys like that. Shout out to all you if you are watching. Uh, but the idea, and this is just an idea for now, to have a COVID-19 charity event with the best of every state playing in that. So, now, this, this is something that I put forward to um, some people. And uh, basically, the results of the Intel will determine who our best players will be. So, um, oh. that means... Um, Oh, oh, I'm out to win it this year. So, <laughs> so, so uh, it's, it's all it's all just an idea for now. But I just want to build the hype, get the excitement up. If we can um, get the best of the NT. If you don't pull this through, David, yeah. we're going to be very and upset, then, buddy. And uh, <laughs> now we can click that video. Okay, yeah. so, so yeah, I, I know I'm going off on a bit of a thing here, but it's um if you if you are a competitor and you are watching this if there's any motivation to get be the best in the NT and then represent NT for a big charity event this may be your chance to do that so i'm just throwing it out there um it's not official yet leave it with me 
um, and I'll see what magic <laughs> magic I can do for you guys. Oh. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to work with any esports org out there, just throwing it out there, um, to achieve um, a, a building uh, of the biggest scene of esports in Australia because, you know, it's great and we need to, you know, take advantage of this opportunity to grow together, I reckon, so. Definitely. Um, does anyone else have any more comments or questions for Stu before oh. we close off? Stu, how have you found the, I do have a question, how have you found the um, online scene for Super Smash? I mean, there was a bit of, uh, you know, talk about, oh, no, no, I don't play Super Smash online, it's going to be terrible. But what are your thoughts there, man? How's it been? So, Smash is notoriously terrible online, I'm going to be completely honest. It's, like, at the moment on Twitter, Fix Ultimate Online is trending, because it's it's that bad. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's different. It's it's very like it accust it, it's how do I word this? It's really good for some playstyles, not good for others. Some people obviously are like you know they they built in online or they don't have friends that play offline and stuff, and all they do is play online, and they're really good at online, and then you take them offline, and it's a bit average because the tech is because online's a lot of guessing and a lot less reacting. You have to be like I think he's gonna do this, like I think he's gonna do X, so I'm gonna do Y. Whereas yeah. offline, a lot of the time you can be like okay he did X, now I react with this. Well, yeah. Um, so it is very different, but and and I mean, the, it, with this whole COVID nineteen thing going on, we've had like we had an eleven year old two days ago beat the world's best player, <laughs> like on, on a character wow. that is like considered to be high tier at best. So it's it it definitely has its ramifications. <laughs> I think this. I stuff, find yeah. it. Go on. Sorry, go on. I find it okay. Like as long as you've got a decent net connection, if you're playing on a Switch, get a LAN adapter. Do not play on Wi-Fi. I will come to your house and make you get one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the the if like if you've got good internet, it's it's doable. Like I played in a Couch Warriors online thing yesterday. I didn't have a single bad connection match. Like it was pretty fine. It's good. Um, if you know you have bad internet, go to a friend that has good internet. Go somewhere like. I know there's restrictions on where you can go at the moment. Don't but... go to a friend unless they're... You... Yeah, I know there's Just... restrictions, but find, try and find a way to <laughs> play... Find it in post. If you, yeah, if you have to... Find, Buy better net. <laughs> if, if you have to set a couple games out, it's better for everyone. Just like, up don't, your internet. Don't come, in and, yeah, don't, don't come in with like a net that's freezing every two seconds with three second input <laughs> delay and... No one's going to enjoy themselves, and you can actually get kicked out from tournaments. Your opponent can call a lag test, and if it is consistently bad, you can actually get kicked out. There you so go. don't do that to yourself. Yeah, I think but I, yeah. it's as long as there's good internet, it's it's pretty fine. Like you make make the most of what you've got. I think there's actually a um, in in some fighting games. I know like Tekken does it, Mortal Kombat, and a few others. I'm not sure about Super Smash, but you can actually go into practice mode and you can actually put the latent like a latency yeah. uh, mimicker on there. So it actually gives you like what. It, so we've I recommend guys if you're going to be playing online, just practice with that uh, latency. <laughs> put, put that it, on. It depends. It depends. <laughs> it depends. Uh, like a, yeah, but look, if you it's want just, to be a good offline player, you keep the offline yeah. habits. <laughs> I mean, it's just yeah, great. We're just doing the tournament, though. So. Yeah, no. Make the most of it. It's it's very doable. There's like, you know, everyone's a little bit like, oh god, we have to play online, but I'd rather play online than not play at all. Mm. That's, that's a good it. point. Yeah. And that's it. That's all I have for Stu. Thanks for that, Stu. Great. Thanks, Thanks for excited. joining us. Turtles. See Thanks, you, mate. mate. Thanks again. All right, we're back. Thank you again to Billy and Stuart for joining us to talk about uh league of legends and smash brothers um we'll just close off now with some final comments about do we have any updates on on merchandise Dave? uh yeah we're still um well, i put some uh shout out to surdy our sponsor slap on prince so we're talking with surdy and organizing some more shirts um details to be advised on that we've got a few I've, I've thrown out a few designs and a few different you know there's different materials of shirts as well so uh we'll update you on that guys and um yeah we'd, you'd be definitely the first to know what's going on with our merch we really want to get that out there um and get you guys yeah repping um nte and wearing your shirt proudly because that's what it's about it's a cool they're cool shirts uh, we want them to look good and um, the logo is cool too so why not wear it <laughs> nice um the next final thing is our 
draws for Steam vouchers for our Challenger members. That's happening every month from May till August. So next month is the first draw. Is that happening at the end of the month or the start of the month? Uh, we'll do it at the end of the month. Um, end of the month. And, uh, so if yeah. you haven't registered, get on nextyear.com.au slash members and sign up for your Challenger Pass to be in the draw for yeah. that Steam voucher. Lucky name yeah. draw, guys. Win $10 voucher, $10 Steam voucher. We've given away one every month for the Intel season. So, yeah. Nice. That'll be good. Um, yeah, and I think that's, that's all we've got on the list to talk about today. Um, as we said before, nextyear.com.au jump on grab your challenger pass access all those amazing discounts from our wonderful local sponsors thanks again to paul's i love you light ice coffee um go down to uh, wicked energy and grab your g fuel as well if you're if you've got your challenger pass um thank you for watching episode 10 wrap it up thanks thank everyone right. see you later thank you Bye. Peace yeah. out.